Sen Boots, Episode Nine: A Guest at the Castle. Carabas looked around his house. <sighs> I need money. He thought. Maybe I can sell something. Just then, Puss walked in with a gold coin. Carabas gasped. Where did you get that? Puss shrugged. The king gave it to me. Carabas scratched his head. The king? Puss nodded. He and I are friends. Puss gave Carabas the gold coin. Oh, Puss! Thank you. Carabas said. Puss laughed and nodded. <laughs> More good things will happen soon. Puss visited the king every day. He brought a gift every day too. From the duke, he said. The king loved Puss. A singer sang for the cat. A jester juggled for him. One day, Puss and the king had lunch. Tell me about the duke. The king said. Is he kind? Is he handsome? Puss smiled. The duke is honest and kind. Is he neat? The king asked. Oh yes, Puss said. He's rich and dresses very well. Excellent, the king said. I want to meet him. Puss gulped. Uh oh, he thought. I can't bring Carabas here. The king will see that he is poor. Puss thought fast. My master is um very busy right now. I'm sure you can meet him soon, though. Puss in Boots, Episode Ten: Beautiful Music. Puss tapped his chin. The king wanted to meet Carabas, so Puss needed a plan. One day, Puss visited the castle. The king was taking a nap. As Puss walked around, he heard music. Someone is playing a guitar. Puss thought. It's beautiful. Puss followed the sound through the castle. He came to a doorway. Puss saw a young woman with a guitar. Her fingers danced along its strings. Master loves music. Puss whispered. I wish he could hear this. The woman looked up. She said, "You must be Puss. Father told me about you." Puss was confused. Who is your father? He's the king. The woman said, "I'm Fiona. I was traveling and came home last night." Puss bowed. It's an honor to meet you. You're very talented, princess. Fiona laughed. <laughs> you are very kind. She stood. Come, let's walk and talk. Father and I were going to take a carriage ride. 
but he fell asleep. Puss and Fiona walked and talked. She's clever and kind, Puss thought. Soon, the king found them outside. I'm sorry I fell asleep, Fiona, the king said. Let's take that carriage ride tomorrow morning. A grin spread across the cat's face. Now, Puss had a plan. Puss in Boots, Episode 11, Nuts for Berries. Carabas checked his tomatoes. He heard a squawk and wings flapping. He turned around. Several birds flew off from his berry bushes. They carried berries in their beaks. Carabas shook his fist. Thieves! He shouted. Carabas walked back and forth. Birds are eating my berries, he thought. How will I stop them? Suddenly, Carabas stopped. Puss gave me a gold coin, he thought. I'll use it for food and some nets. Then I can cover the berry bushes. Later, Puss found Carabas in the garden. Carabas was placing nets over the berry bushes. Hello, Master, Puss said. Carabas patted the cat. Master, Puss said. I have a plan to change your life. You're getting married! Carabas shook his head and laughed. <laughs> Puss, that's a silly idea. Puss told Carabas all about Fiona. He didn't say she was a princess. Gosh, Carabas said. Fiona sounds nice. When can I meet her? Puss looked at Carabas carefully. Carabas's pants and shirt had holes. His shoes were still falling apart. First, we must go shopping, Puss said. Where is the gold coin from the king? Carabas bit his lip. I'm sorry, Puss. I spent it on food and these nets. I ruined your plan. in Boots, Episode 12, A Sneaky Plan. Carabas was upset. He wanted to meet Fiona. But he had no money for new clothes. Don't worry, Master, Puss said. I have a new plan. Tomorrow, Fiona will take a carriage ride. She'll be with her father. Who is Fiona's father? Carabas asked. Puss didn't answer. Carabas tapped a foot. Puss, who is Fiona's father? He's, um, the king, Puss said. What? Carabas cried. I can't marry a princess. I told the king you're a rich duke, Puss said. A duke? Carabas gasped. Y you lied? Puss waved a paw. 
It's just a little lie. No, it's a big lie, Carabas said. And lying is wrong. Puss sighed. <sighs> Fine. Forget about Fiona. Carabas folded his arms. I will forget her. But Puss still had a plan. A sneaky plan. Let's go swimming, Puss said the next morning. We can swim in the river. Good idea, Carabas said. Puss grinned. I know a nice spot along the road. Carabas and Puss went to the river. Carabas took off his ripped clothes. He dived in. Splash! The king and Fiona were riding in their carriage. Fiona played her guitar. Suddenly, she stopped. There's Puss! Puss ran toward the carriage. Help! He shouted. The Duke of Carabas is drowning!